B, D, E, D. Hey, welcome back guys. I had a request to make this video about memorizing the fretboard and it's something that I get asked about a lot. So I think this will be a helpful video. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and like. If you have a request for a video, pop it in the comments below and I'll get to it in a future video. Okay, so the topic of this is memorizing the neck of the guitar. Why do we want to memorize that? Well, first of all, uh, it's going to be easier to find and create chord shapes, understand scales and arpeggios. It's going to be easier to understand note relationships within chords and also to help with soloing and to be able to read all kinds of music notation for guitar, not just tabs, but standard notation also. Okay, so let's start step by step. Some of this may be review, some not. First thing you need to do is learn your musical alphabet. Our musical alphabet goes from A to G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And that chunk repeats infinitely higher and lower. So the next note up from G is an A again. Unfortunately, that's not the end of the story because that's only seven notes. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yeah, seven notes. And uh, in music, we actually have 12 notes total that make up all of music, which is kind of mind blowing to me. So uh, there's actually notes that go in between A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So the notes that go in between, we call sharps and flats. In between A and B, there's actually a note we call A sharp, or it has two names, B flat. So A, A sharp or B flat, B. Now to make your life really confusing, not every pair of notes has a sharp or flat in between it. So in between B and C and E and F, there are no sharps. It just goes directly from E to F or B to C. So now if we laid all that out, it would look like this. A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, and then it would start over. A, A sharp, etc. So we've got all 12 of our notes, some sharp, some natural. Each one of those 12 notes is what we call a half step, and on the guitar neck, that means one fret apart. So let's check out first the names of the notes on the E string. So if we start with E, the next note up is one fret, one half step up, so that's F, next one F sharp, G, G sharp, a, A sharp, B, directly to C, no sharp, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, and then if we wanted to keep going higher from this 12th fret E, we would just start repeating. So 13th fret is F, F sharp, G. Okay, so we could repeat that process on each string, just starting from a different note. So also really important that you know all the names of the open strings in standard tuning. There's a really easy mnemonic device to do this. E, A, D, G, B, E. Eat a dog, grow big ears. Or Eddie ate dynamite, goodbye Eddie. So each one of these strings we could apply the same formula to. So say we're on the fifth string, we're just starting on an A instead of an E. And then we could go up half step by half step and chart out each one of these notes. When I'm in a lesson with a student, I usually make them go through and actually say out loud every note name as we play them up the neck. So if we start in on the A string, a good exercise is to just play A and say out loud, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. And you know, you could say the flats too. Uh, that's another good exercise. I'll have my students do that on every string. Then I'll yell out random notes and have them find the notes on the neck. So that's something easy you can implement into your practice too. Take five minutes a day and just go through and name every note out loud while you're playing it up and down the neck. Okay, so in theory, we should be able to count up each string and find the note if we need it. But in reality, most people don't have the entire neck memorized. We use what's called association in order to find those notes quickly in our mind. So most people start by memorizing the sixth string because that's where the root notes of our chords are. 
power chord shapes, bar chord shapes, scales when we're first starting out, all have the root note on the sixth string or fifth string. So the way I think about it is, if I know the notes on the sixth string, I also know them on the first string. Sixth string is E, and first string is also starting on an E. So if I play a G here on the third fret of the low E string, I know the third fret on the high string is also an E. If you memorize the sixth string notes, you already know the high string. Okay, so that's association. So if I wanna know a note on the high string, maybe up here, 12th fret, instead of counting up all the way to get there, I just think, what's 12th string on the E string? And I know that's an E, so I know this is an E. I see that relationship back and forth. The next octave association, and most importantly, is this shape. Now, if you watch my other octave video, the West Montgomery octave workout, you'll see this is the same octave association we used in that. G here, two strings down, two frets higher, is another G. And from that G, two strings down and three frets higher, is also a G. So when I'm playing this G right here at the eighth fret, I'm actually thinking about this G, and I'm just seeing that relationship. And the same octave association exists from the fifth string, two strings down, two frets up, C, 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 C. So eighth fret on the high E string, also a C. I'm associating it back to this note or this note. Okay, so that's how I break it down, at least in my mind. And I know a lot of other people do the same thing. So again, if this is a goal of yours, take a little time, five minutes a day, maybe at the beginning of your practice session when you're doing the warm ups, take a minute and just count through each string or maybe pick out a random note and try to find every G on the neck. Go through string by string and go G, G. Then find all the G's on the A string. Find all the G's on the D string. All the G's on the G string. Right? Walk it through and then the next day, go to a new note and find all of those notes on the neck. And when you're learning a tune or playing a riff, go through and maybe try to identify Take a second, say the notes out loud. Even if it takes you a while to get to them. G, B flat, B, D, E, D. All right, so that's some tricks to memorizing the fretboard. The other thing to keep in mind is that this isn't an overnight process. It's going to take a while. It's not a week long process. It's not a month long process. It takes maybe years to get to the point where you can just look at a note and know that that's a B. Don't get frustrated. Spend a little time each day. Soon you'll be knowing those note names like it's nothing. All right, so that's it for today. If you're getting some good out of these videos, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. Hit like on the videos, share them. And if you have requests for any other topics you want me to cover or talk about, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.